Have you ever dreamed of seeing yourself as a Disney princess or in another unique art style? Let our image conversion feature turn your photos into different styles. Like the IMG to IMG feature of Web UI, the image conversion feature of Comfy UI also transforms your original photo by modifying its models. However, we can add a few new steps to improve conversion accuracy. 1. Add a model upscaling node to control the original image size. 2. Increase similarity to the original image. 3. Add upscale for a clearer result. Let's walk you through this with an example. Step 1. Set up the model group. We can start building on the IMG to IMG template. First, add an optional upscale image by node after the original image to control its size. Add a LoRa node if needed. You can also add a clip set last layer node to skip layers. Finally, connect the corresponding nodes. Step 2. Reference the original image first. Deduce the prompts. Double click to search and add a WD14 tagger node. Connect the image node. Right click the prompt node. Select Convert Text to Input and connect WD14 Tagger to the prompt node. This only includes the image's prompt information. To add other prompts, create a new text concatenate node to connect multiple prompts. Then create a new primitive node, which can connect to any node and become a related attribute. Input additional desired prompts in the primitive node, such as LoRa trigger words or quality words. The prompts now include both those deduced from the image and those we input. Next, set up IPA adapter face ID to reference facial features. Double click to search and add an IPA adapter face ID node and connect the input nodes accordingly. Lastly, set up the control net. We recommend using a CR multi-control net stack node to add multiple control nets to it, then add corresponding preprocessors. We also recommend using these three control nets, Open Pose, Canny, and Depth. You can add or remove them based on the final image. After that, add a control net application node, CR Apply Multi Control Net, at the output, and we recommend setting the preprocessor resolution to 10 to 24. Please note that you need to turn on the switches for the control nets you'll be using. Step 3. Upscale. After setting up the model group and referencing the original image, we can add upscale at the final image output step. Once the nodes are set up, you can organize them into groups for easier viewing. Finally, adjust relevant parameters based on the output, such as checkpoint, LoRa weight, prompts, sampler, and denoising strength. These are just references. You can adjust some parameters based on the final output. Note, if you choose an SDXL model, you also need to use low rays of the corresponding SDXL and adjust the control net model to SDXL, otherwise the image generation will fail. That covers a complete workflow for image conversion. You can also add VAE or free UV2 to adjust the final image. If you have any other questions, leave your comments below or join our Discord. Now that you've learned how to do it, go ahead and see what amazing images you can create.